In this video, I am going to explain three muscles that can be caused for slouching back. I will explain why these muscles create slouching back, then I will explain why that is problem. First muscle is this one. This is pectoralis minor. Pectoralis minor, also known as pec minor. This muscle attaches to part of scapula, that is coracoid process, and rib cage. You don't see coracoid process. Imagine there is bony prominent deep to this muscle. When pec minor shortens, that brings scapula this way. This contraction brings scapula to outward and kind of inward. So anatomically, this movement is called abduction. Abduction means scapula goes to outside. Then when scapula goes outside, tendency is your shoulder goes inward. Try to do it. You try to bring scapula outward, the tendency is your shoulder goes kind of inward. You can do that. You can feel that. Thus, when pec minor gets tight, in result, your shoulder goes inward. Let me change picture. Okay, this is profile view. Imagine there's pec minor here. When pec minor contracts, to this direction that brings scapula outside, this contraction tends to bring shoulder inward. Okay, shoulder goes inside. Then tendency is your thoracic spines get more curve. This curve is called kyphosis in anatomical terminology. Kyphosis means more curve on thoracic spines. Then what's gonna happen? There will be more low doses on cervical spines. Low doses means this kind of curve on cervical spine and lumbar spine, by the way. Again, contraction of pec minor brings shoulder inward that creates more kyphosis, more curve on thoracic spine. Then there's more low doses, kind of S-shaped curve on cervical spines and thoracic spine. I will tell you why this is problem later. In this part, please uh, remember, please memorize, shortening of pec minor brings shoulder inward, then that creates more kyphosis on thoracic spine. Okay, then let's go to next muscle. Next muscle is above pec minor, which is about this muscle, actually. This is pectoris major. Pectoris major, also known as pec major. One of function of pec major is internal rotation of shoulder internal rotation. Again, when pec major contracts, that brings shoulder internal rotation. This internal rotation creates thoracic spines more kyphosis, more curve, then more lordosis on cervical spines. Pec major contraction creates more curve on spines. This is number two. Number two is pec major. What is third muscle? Third muscle is this one. This is deltoid. Deltoid, particularly anterior fiber of deltoid. Anterior fiber. So what is function of deltoid anterior fiber? That is internal rotation. Again, internal rotation. This is third time when this muscle gets tight that brings shoulder 
to inward, this creates more curve on thoracic spines and cervical spines. Let's review three muscles. Number one, pec minor. Number two, pec major. Number three, deltoid anterior fiber. Common thing that these three muscles can do is that brings shoulder inward. In result, you get more curve on thoracic spines and cervical spines. Why is that problem? Let me explain that. Okay, why is that problem and what things can create uh, tightness of these three muscles? Main reason is people use computer and smartphone a lot. Imagine there's computer here, this is screen. When you focus too much on computer, what's gonna happen? You try to focus a lot, then your head tends to go forward. So it's like a head forward position, like this. And your neck gets like this. Of course, this is exaggeration. What is weight of head? It is about five kilograms and it's about 11 pounds in usual posture in natural posture this five kilograms is on shoulder okay the head is on base but when head is on forward position this is kind of a out of place head is way too far from shoulder so somebody needs to work a lot to maintain this posture. Who needs to work a lot? The one muscle is this guy. This guy is trapezius. Trapezius, very big shoulder guard muscle. In normal posture, your head is on shoulder. So this is just 5 kilograms is on shoulder. How about when your head is on forward position? Now your head and face is out of place from shoulder. To maintain this posture, trapezius needs to contract a lot. It's like physics. If your weight, your load is far away from base, you need to work hard to sustain this position because this is way far away from base, right? Thus, trapezius needs to work hard. In result, you get tight shoulder, shoulder pain, or even headache, neck pain, stiff neck. Does it make sense? Let's go back to beginning. When you focus on smartphone or computer, your head goes forward or these today's three muscles contract your shoulder goes inward cervical spines and thoracic spines get a lot of curve plus your head goes forward like this then your cervical spine is like this then your head is out of place from shoulder somebody needs to work very hard to maintain this posture who needs to do it your trapezius then trapezius takes a lot of stress what's gonna happen trapezius tightens up then that can be cause of stiff shoulder shoulder pain neck pain even for headache that is why today's three muscles are so important this is like a chicken or egg question because you use computer a lot then these shoulder muscles get tight or these three muscles get tight then you need to go forward i don't know but head forward position and today's three muscles are highly related i believe if you liked today's video please hit the like button comment and subscribe see you next video